Good evening, and welcome to the Telescope Makers Workshop. My name is Francis O'Reilly, and I'll be your host this evening as we discuss a subject that's very important, trimming a pitch lap. Right now I'm working on polishing a 7-inch optical flat. The optical flat is on the bottom, and my tool, my pitch lap, is on top. I've been polishing this flat for probably two and a half hours. As I polish the flat, I exert pressure either from the tool being on top or from the flat being on top onto the pitch lap. Now pitch is a very viscous substance, but it's almost a liquid. I believe it's a very viscous, uh, well, it's, it's probably considered to be a solid as glass is considered to be a very viscous liquid. Uh, but it's very, very thick. It comes in different hardnesses. I use Google's pitch. Google's comes in a variety of grades. I have Google's 64 here. But what I prefer to use, and I'm in New York, is a very soft Google's 55. Now the common, si the common uh, types of Google's you'll find go from very soft at Google's 55 to 64, 73, 82, and a very, very hard pitch, Google's 91. I can't imagine any place in the United States where you would be using Google's 91. <clears throat> the warmer it gets, the softer the, uh, the, uh, the warmer it gets, the softer the harder pitches become. Pitch becomes softer as the temperature gets warmer. <clears throat> Here in New York, I use Google's 55 because it's a very soft pitch. Now when you're polishing, you want to use a soft pitch. Uh, if it's too hard, you're going to end up with streaks. You're going to have a very hard time figuring your mirror when that comes. It's not going to polish out very well, whereas a soft pitch more molds and molds itself to the product that or to the uh, optic that you're making and just works a whole lot better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my flat off of the workbench right now. I'm going to put it away. <clears throat> and I'm going to replace the tool where the flat was. I'm going to rinse it off. And now I'm looking at it, my channels in the pitch have pretty much closed up. Now opening up a pitch lap is not very hard to do. It requires either a knife or a razor blade. I have just a very simple uh, blade that comes out of a knife. I bought it in the Home Depot for about three and a half dollars. And what I'm going to do is take a cloth that I'm using, just wipe it over the top of my pitch lap, and I'm going to cut channels. I'm going to re-cut my channels in the tool. Now, as you can see, I'll take off my eyeglasses since they're for distance, and I'm going to put them somewhere else. What I ultimately want to end up with is a tool like this. This tool, aside from being a little bit dusty because it's very old, has channels that have been opened up into it and they were opened up using a single edge razor blade. This tool, the channels have filled in and that's not good. However, it's relatively easy to open up the channels. I just take my knife hold it at about a 45 degree angle, cut across. I'm not too excited that I'm going to be chipping up the pitch a little bit. That's really not a problem because I'm going to hot press in a few minutes. And just open up, open up my channels again. Get a little room in here.
for the polishing agent. In this uh, agent, in this case, it's not cerium oxide, but it's uh, something similar, a rare earth compound, so that it can flow. This facilitates the polishing action. Again, I just take some take some easy strokes. Open up, open up these channels, and you know there's a lot of pitch flying everywhere. I'm notorious for that. Go again. Whoops! It's getting very brittle now. Now I'm doing this. I'm in my basement. And it's about 65 degrees. 65 degrees is a pretty good temperature to be polishing at. Using Google's 55. Some people will tell you that the number on the Google's is related to the temperature that it's that the pitch lap works best at. Simply not an accurate statement. However, Google 65, uh, 55 rather, does seem to work fairly well when the temperature is in the mid 60s. One thing you want to be careful about using a knife, don't take off a finger. A lot of people like to do this with single edge razor blades. I understand that also. It works. I was going to do that, but I prefer the handle. Just wiping down the pitch lap. I can do it with my hand. It doesn't hurt anything. Pitch isn't going to hurt you. Even a refined product like Google's. really want to make sure you get these channels cut fairly deep and they should close in after about an hour of polishing. If they don't you're probably using a pitch lap that's just a hair too hard. Also what's going to happen as you as you polish and as you channel as you can see I'm knocking some pitch off eventually polish long enough with a pitch lap like this and you're going to have to Repour it. But I think I've got at least one or two more channeling sessions to go before this is just too far gone. Cutting across, here's an area that I missed that doesn't look too terribly good right now. Another area. Now, Dick Parker, if you're watching this, don't have a heart attack.